closest point on circle from given point? This is extremely good question here. So be careful when you solve this question and take note of every little thing which I am doing here. Find a point on a circle x square plus y square equals to 1 that is closest to the point 3, 0. Now to do this question, let's first sketch. So we have a circle here, right? And let's say this is a circle with radius of 1 unit. And that's my coordinate system. And what we are trying to say here is that find a point on this circle that is closest to the point 3, 0. 3, 0 is somewhere on this line. So let me draw, draw a tangent touching this like this. And we'll assume that this point here is 3, 0. So this is x point 3 and y is value 0, right? And we'll also assume that this point on the circle, let us be point A, whose coordinates are x and y, is closest to this point P, for example. Correct? So that is our assumption. Now, and then we'll try to solve this problem. And let's say the distance AP, let us give it a variable, and that variable will be S, the distance. Okay. Now, so to find a relation between S and these points, what we can do is we can drop a perpendicular from here. So if I drop a perpendicular from here, I make a right triangle. Do you see this triangle? So we have this triangle now. Now in this triangle, let's say this is at n. Now, what is a n equals to? So in this triangle, we know a n is equals to the y value, right? And a p is the hypotenuse. And what is n p equals to? here n p is equals to distance from here to here. So we know from 0 to here it is 3 and from 0 to this place it is x, right? So it is basically 3 minus x. So n p is 3 minus x. And now we have a relation here. Since uh, that is the hypotenuse, so s square is equals to a n square plus n p square. So that is the relation which we have. And fortunately for us, that relation is between x, y, and so we can actually solve the equation, correct? So now let's try to uh, solve it further. So what we have here is s square equals to a n is y, so we have y square, plus n p is 3 minus x, 3 minus x whole square, correct? Now what is y square? Uh, y square can be written from the equation. So y is a point on the circle. So if x on this circle, we know x square plus y square equals to 1. So that means y square equals to 1 minus x square. That is y square. 1 minus x square. So we can continue with this and say, well, the distance between a and p, square of that is equals to y square can be written as 1 minus x squared. Plus, let me expand this now. So if I expand it, I get 9 minus 6x plus x squared. This is what I get. So I have now my distance in one variable, that is x. So let's simplify this. We get uh, x squared gets cancelled off. You get minus 6x and 1 plus 9 is 10. So you get 10 minus 6x here. So we have a relation which is, now we can find from here the distance is actually square root of 10 minus 6x, correct? Now we have to take positive values since uh, distance cannot be negative. So by doing all this, what we did was, we found a relation between the distance of a point on the circle with 3, 0. That is what we did, right? Now we'll explore more and then find the answer. So what we have here is S, the distance, uh, which we want to minimize, closest distance means minimize, is equals to square root of 10 minus 6x. Now to minimize this distance, we need to find derivative with respect to the variable x. So let's do ds over dx, and this is square root, so it will be half of 1 over 10 to the power of minus half, so I'm bringing it down, right, square root, times 
derivative of inside function which is minus 6 correct so basically I get a derivative which can be simplified and written as minus 3 over square root of 10 minus 6x so that is what I get now now there are a couple of things now this gives us a critical point. So where is the critical point for us? Critical point for us is when this becomes either zero or undefined, right? So it cannot be zero, but it can be undefined. So let's find the point where it is undefined. So the point will be when denominator is zero, correct? So, so we'll equate that. So we're trying to find critical point. So denominator 0 means what? Denominator 0 means uh, 10 minus 6x equals to 0 or x is equals to 10 over 6. Now 10 over 6 is a number which is equals to around 1 point. So it is like 40, so 6, 36 and then again 46 degree. So we get a point which says x is 1.6. Now, x equals to 1.6 will minimize, but the thing is, our x value cannot be more than 1. Do you see that? x cannot be more than 1, because we have a restriction on this x, correct? x is a point on the circle, right? So that tells us a very important thing, and that is, what is the boundary for x? x could be a point on the circle, that means x is greater than or equal to minus 1, but it is less than or equal to 1, right? So x is only between these two values. Now this point is not in our domain at all, so we cannot really consider it, right? So this is a redundant point for us. But what we have is these two points, correct? So let's consider these two points. That's the positive thing which we have got from all this, doing all these derivations, right? So that means we'll go back to the basics. That is, when we have a boundary condition, then a maximum or a minimum, absolute maximum minimum value exists at these points and at the critical point. Critical point is not working out for us. So let's try out the value of S, the distance at these points, right? So we'll find, we'll plug in S equals to minus one and get the value and we'll plug in S equals to one and get the value. Obviously, you can see, if I put s equals to 1, I do get the closest point. Do you see that? So, so that's the beauty of this. Now, if I put in this equation s as minus 1, then what happens? I got 16 square root, right? So, I'm putting in this. This is the equation which is going to give me the distance, right? Now, if I put minus 1 here, I get square root of 10 plus 6 which is square root of 16 gives me a distance of 4. And when I put 1 here, then what do I get? A square root of 10 minus 6, which is square root of 4, gives me a distance of 2. So clearly, I have my answer right there, and that is, this is closest. This is farthest, maximum distance. Do you see that? And therefore, I can write on the answer as find a point on this circle that is closest to 0 0.30 x value is for me 1 right this is my x value if x is 1 then what is y 0 right so i have a point 1 0 which is this point that is closest to the given point now once we get the answer it looks like obvious correct that's the beauty of the question so after doing all this, what we found that the closest point is actually this, right? It made a lot of sense right in the very beginning. But when we do all this, we realize that at times we can get into a lot of difficulty, but it learns, it, it is a learning curve for you. So remember one thing that this condition, boundary condition is kind of very critical when you are solving any problem dealing with maximum or closest or minimum or things like that which involves absolute extrema it could be extreme value on maximum side or a minimum side you should always 
consider the boundary condition right and that will save you lot of trouble lot of trouble and that is what I'm going to highlight with this and that makes this video one of the most important videos in my playlist of finding absolute maximum and minimum and I hope you really appreciate it thank you and all the best